All right, so we have to talk. Now, I, have, I spoke about this before, this topic. Um, basically, it kind of goes way deeper than just fully raw Christine. It's, it's way deeper than that. But we'll discuss more about that. Um, anyway, my name is Ario Dejuiced at ariodejuiced.com. Be sure to join the email list over at ariodejuiced.com. I'll leave the link of the website in the box below. Join today the email list. You can discover it at ariodejuiced.com. The link is down below again. Um, in, case some, in case something happens to this YouTube channel, it gets taken down or terminated. We still have each other's content um, via the email list. So join today, be responsible. Join today over at ariodejuiced.com. Thanks for joining. Um, let's talk again. So this goes deeper, way deeper than just fully raw Christina. What I want to talk about is work ethic, right? Because I think a lot of people are getting this confused in terms of, uh, you know, wh why people claim to dislike fully raw Christina and people are not understanding that they don't dislike her because of her success, right? A lot of people, um, a lot of so-called content creators dislike Fully Rock Christina because I think, just my opinion, right? I think what people are not understanding is the reason they claim to dislike her is um, because she knows how to outwork you, right? Um, let me say that again. Fully rock Christina, Christina is a doer. She knows how to outwork many of her competitors or, if, you know, yeah, her, her competitors, right? There's people out there who claim to dislike this woman because of her putting out false information in terms of, you know, dieting and what to eat and all that stuff, right? They, they, they claim that's the, re the real reason of them disliking this individual, Fully Rock Christina. Like I just told you, I think it's not that. I think it's something else deeper, which is you dislike anybody that could basically outwork you, right? You don't have the discipline. You don't have the drive, the hunger. You're not consistent, right? You're not focused. You don't have none of those things right now. Right. You could develop those skills, but right now you don't have it. And because you don't have it and other people, you know, do have those skills um, and have succeeded or accomplished their goals or just exceeded what they've accomplished or wanted to accomplish. And you're sitting there, you're sitting there watching all the success and you wish that were you. Right. Not just you with the fortune and fame. Right. You don't just wish that from your favorite celebrities like Fully Rock Christina. Right. She's your favorite celebrity. You're not bitter because of her success. Again, you are bitter that she has the skills to get there in terms of the discipline, the drive, the hunger, the hustle. She ha she knows how to outwork many of her so-called competitors, right? A lot of these competitors are people like vegan deterioration, believe it or not, right? I've spoken about this person numerous times. I think I'll keep doing that because... Uh, she's like the prime example of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> she is very much a perfect example of the bitterness of people when it comes to, you know, um, them watching their favorite stars or their competitors, I'll say, watching these people just win and, you know, just gain more and more success from their hard work, their work ethic, Right. People like vegan deterioration is nothing but a consumer. She consumes fully rock Christina's content, right? She'll consume it and become bitter because she wants to be like this woman. She was once a so-called vegan, right? I don't think she really was, but the, the point is vegan deterioration claimed to be on the so-called vegan diets. She tried to go vegan, air quotes, go vegan, and she failed doing it, right? Like most people, they fail at a lot of things they don't understand, right? There's people who are who are trying to run or start a small business, right? People were trying to, there's people who wanted to start a small business and they fail doing this because they don't know how to do it. There's people who are trying to lose weight, gain weight, and they failed because they don't know what they're doing. There's people who are basically, um, God, you get my point, right? 
a lot of people fail at things they don't understand. So big because of vegan deterioration tried to go vegan and she failed because it was her fault, right? She didn't know what she was doing and she messed up, whatever. And instead of trying to seek knowledge or seek help from people, she turns around and become bitter because there's, there's other people who are vegan like me who have done it successfully and she doesn't know how to do it. Right. And that's OK if you're lost. I was lost. Right. The difference is I ask questions. I were seeking help from other people. Like I'm trying to do this. So I'm trying to I, I, need, I need some help from some people who knows how to do it better than me. So because Fully Rock Christina has been vegan for I don't know how many years now and successfully she's been vegan and she looks amazing. She's a real pretty woman, super attractive, not to mention she's a freaking celebrity on social media. She has millions of followers on YouTube, millions of followers on Instagram. The girl is doing her thing. She lives in beautiful Hawaii. She has gorgeous hair, makes money online, runs a profitable business, right? A profitable business. And people like vegan deterioration has to sit there and consume it. (laughs) She has to sit there and consume the content because she wants to be like this woman. Badly, badly. And instead of using Fully Rock Christina's strategy or whatever she's she's using to grow her business, instead instead of vegan vegan deterioration doing that or going that route, she chose the route of becoming better because she wished she knew how to do what Fully Rock Christina Fully Rock Christina is doing. Not only is she a successful vegan, but she's a successful business owner and a successful content creator, a successful celebrity. She checked all the boxes, almost all avenues she checked, right, because of her work ethic, right? But like I said, there's people like vegan deterioration who much rather be bitter than ask for help. Ask the girl for help, right? Vegan deterioration vegan deterioration go ask fully rock christina your favorite celebrity right go ask your favorite person teach me i try to go vegan once but i fail because i don't know what to do so why not just do that instead ask for help i'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you she'll charge her but she will charge you what she should charge you for her time but she'll help you so you 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 much rather not do that but become better and Almost, if you ask me, pathetic. Because my thing is this. If you want something so bad, and that could mean maybe trying to get a, pay, a better paying job, a new career. You're trying to run a small business or open, a, open up a business. You're trying to lose weight or gain weight. You want to get married. You want to have children. All that stuff requires work. It all requires work. You need to work to maintain those Those luxuries. Yeah, marriage is a luxury. It is. Right? Especially here in America, it's a luxury. But the point is, it it requires work, right? Having a, being in a marriage requires work. I'm married. It requires work. Okay? That's how it's, that's how you can have a healthy relationship with your spouse. You have to work. To make that happen, you want children, you have to work to make that happen in terms of the children need to be fed, bathed, whatever. That all is from working your butt off to make sure they're good. Going to school, you know, it it all requires some form of work. So here's Fully Rock Christina. She's a doer, she works, she knows how to outwork people. And people can't stand that because they wish they had her drive and and hustle. They wish they had it. And because they don't have it, they become bitter. That's why they claim to not like her. Quote, unquote, I don't like her. No, you're just bitter. You much rather become bitter than help her celebrate and congratulate her success. And she is open for service in terms of, I could help you get there too. And and meaning veganism diet, she can help you with it because she is an expert at it, basically. Again, she looks amazing. People can talk crap about her all they want. She is in great shape. 
She lives a very awesome life. She runs a successful and profitable business. My thing is this, again, if, you're, if, if you want what she has so bad, right? if you really want the life fully while Christina is living or better, if you're looking to have a life like her, right? she's a full-time content creator, if you're looking to be someone like her, okay, get to work. Outwork her, right? Outwork fully raw Christina. If you want what she has so bad, whomever this person watching this right now, right? If you claim to dislike this woman, right? You claim to dislike her. Cool. That's your opinion. You're entitled. But my thing is this. She still outworks you. You are terrible at being consistent. You don't know how to do that. You don't have discipline, right? You don't have these skills. The skill you have is becoming bitter, envious, and jealous off someone else's success. Show us, the people, like show society that you are a doer. You are ready to work, right? That's a winner. People love winners and winners work. People who have successful businesses, successful relationships, marriage, children, uh, all that required work in some form or shape. It requires some type of physical labor. You have to work if you want to build your own miracles. It requires work. So that's what I'm saying. For someone like Vegan Deterioration to keep putting out these videos, trying to be little people as if her videos are going to do damage to someone's brand it's not it's cute it's not gonna happen you think it's gonna happen and because you're delusional it's not it will do the opposite it will do it will do the complete opposite so again show us the people show us society right the public show us that you are a worker show us that you have discipline show us this by putting in some work not trying to bash people, not putting out little cute, not cute video, but, but like these little videos trying to insult people as if that's going to hurt their brand. It will not do anything like this. What you need to start doing, whoever this is watching this, if you dislike people so much based off their success, you, I think very much, uh, you need to do some really soul searching or something, Right? It's really sad to watch this. Ask for help. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you. They will charge you, but they will help you get there. They, they will help you get on their level, if not better. But you have to start asking for help. And you must, you must get to work. This is, what, again, show us, the public, the people, show us that you want it so bad. Yeah, sh show us so we can crown you a winner. Because people love winners. People love seeing people work. Not work as if doing hard labor, but people working to achieve a goal. It requires work. People love seeing winners. We love being around them. We don't want to be around people who complain a lot. Again, Fully Raw Christina is a doer. She is a doer. People like Vegan Deterioration are consumers. They consume content. They just sit there on their phone and watch people all day long. Watching people being outside and making money, looking beautiful, happy life. They're sitting there watching, consuming that, con that type of content instead of doing the work. Show us. Show us that you're a winner by working. Show me that you want this that bad. Outwork her, basically. Outwork fully rock Christina or anybody. Outwork them. Do what they're doing, but 10 times better. Show me. Show me how bad you want it. And if you're not doing these things, you don't want it that bad. You're tricking yourself. You're wasting your time. And it's pathetic. And people can see right through it. People can see right through you. People know what's going on. You think we don't. We know exactly what's going on. So again, outwork her. She outworks everybody. She outworks 
all these so-called people who are against so-called veganism or her, she outworks most of you. You cannot keep up with her. You just can't do it. And you know you can't do it. I think you can do it, right? But you think you can't for whatever reason. And in return, you become bitter. When it should be the opposite. You should be not glorifying, but you should be so impressed and mesmerized by the hustle, the drive, the work, and asking for help. Have you tried that yet? Have you reached out to her to see if she can assist you with what you tried to do in the, a few years ago, which is going vegan? But you failed miserably because you don't know what you're doing. Like most people don't know what they're doing with anything in life. They fail. You are no, you're just another statistic. You fail. You suck at it. But you can find help to become better. That's the beauty of failing. You're learning from your mistake. So you, you haven't even tried that. You haven't even tried to reach out to people who do it better than you, people who are actual doctors and have these licenses and certs, and they have, re- not, 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 not rapport, but they have a, a serious work experience when it comes to health or medical, right? You didn't go that route. You went into the route of just getting on, I don't know what you did. I'm not sure what you did, but you didn't ask for help. You didn't ask for a trainer to teach you. Just like someone trying to go to the gym and and lift weights. They hire trainers to show them how to do it properly. You had no trainer. You had no mentor. You didn't know what you were doing like most people. So you fail. We got it. But go fix it and come back. Don't be bitter and and be pathetic. That's crazy. That's insane. Because all we see is these two different people. One is really hot. And super successful. One is the opposite. One is just, I don't know. This is what I see. Why would I want to be around someone that's a loser? Why would I why would I want to be around someone that's gonna complain all day and not get to work? Why would I want to be around someone that just consumes all day? What do you do all day besides consuming content or consuming whatever information? I don't want to be around people like this. I'm sure you don't either, but these people exist. And these people are the ones who claim to so-called hate fully rock Christina when they don't. They just wish they had her work ethic. That's just the difference. She shames you with her work, with her hustle. She puts you, she shames you. And you don't like that. I get it. So good luck to you. Listen, let me get up out of here. Much love to you. Thanks for watching this video. Again, link down below of um, the podcast link. Check it out. Please be part of it. Join the email list over at WokeNations.com. WokeNations.com. Join today. Love to see you there. Be safe. Much love. I'm out of here.